Hello everyone, uh, this is Ms. Pinard. I'm going to be going over um, a game for you to use with your deck of cards and a game for you to use with your dice. Um, so today I'm going to start with our card game, which is Improper Fraction War. So in this you'll need a piece of scratch paper um, or just really anywhere to write um, so that you can record your information. Um, since we do have jacks, queens, aces, and kings in the deck, uh, aces are worth one, jacks are 12, queens are 14, and kings are 15. So to start, you want to shuffle your deck. I'm just using digital um, cards for you to see, but you'll have an, an actual deck of cards. So you'll shuffle your deck, and then each player will turn over two cards. So I'm going to pretend I'm two different players. And the first player get a three and a nine, the second player get a six and a king. And each player will take the highest card and place it over the lowest one. So we have nine over three. And over here, kings are worth 15, so they will go above the six. So we are making improper fractions. Um, let me get my pen, there we go, okay. So as you can see, we just made a fraction. If you draw, there we go, a line right there. We have nine thirds on this side and we have 15 sixths. So the goal for this game is for each person to create their improper fraction by drawing the cards and they will take the improper fraction and convert it into a mixed number. So this one is equal to three. We've got three holes or nine thirds. And then this is equal to two. And you could say three sixths or you can simplify it further into two and a half. So you can see that the player with three won the round. So you would keep track that that person won and they get a point. Um, you can choose to play up until a certain number of points for each round or you can assign um, the person's mixed number as their score. So this person would get three, this person would get two and a half. Um, and that would be good practice to add fractions as well and keep going that way. Um, the winner keeps the cards after the round um, and you could count the cards up at the end and then that person could win. So you can kind of uh, mix this up however you would like to. If there's a card, the cards go in the middle to be taken by the winner of the next round if you choose to play it that way. Um, so let's go over here. So our dice game, let me erase all this. There we go. So for our dice game, we're gonna be comparing decimals. And to do that, you will need three or four dice. So if you have less than that, you'll just roll um, one twice or maybe both of them twice to get four different numbers. And you're gonna make a number out of those, uh, those dice values. And you're gonna make it into a decimal. So depending on how you wanna do this, you can choose to have the decimals go into the tenths or the hundredths or the thousandths. Um, and see who can create the largest number. So for this one, the 362, I'm gonna do until the 10th. So I'm gonna make mine 663.2. And let's see what the next person would get. They would roll five, two, and three. And so this person might say they want to make theirs five, three point two. And so just looking at these, you can see 
that this value is greater, so that person would win the round. And then you can assign points to the winner and then just keep going. Um, if you want to do this with four dice, you can and have it go into a smaller amount. So I'm going to do it into the thousandths. So this person could say that they have six and 332 thousandths. And the other person is going to roll and they're going to get five and 532 thousandths. And so you can see this person received the highest amount again. Um, so those are just some, some game ideas. You can alter the game slightly depending on um, how you want to play. It's, it's really up to you. Thank you.